back to mathematics class today's first topic is word problems on subtraction we will see some questions related to this topic first question a library has 2374 story books abhi has read 1063 books how many books are still left for him to read so we have to find the answer for this for Finding the answer. Our first step is number of story books. What is the number? Yes, that is two thousand three hundred seventy-four. Then how many books does Abhi read? Yes, that is number of books Abhi. Reads equal to how much? Yes, one thousand sixty-three. And what we have to find? Yes, we have to find how many books are still left for him to read. So the books left. What we have to do? Yes, we have to subtract these two numbers. That is two thousand three hundred seventy-four minus. One thousand sixty-three. So first subtract the ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands. Subtract the ones. Four minus three, one. Then seven minus six, again one. Then three minus zero, three itself. Then two minus one, one. Therefore, one thousand three hundred eleven. Books are left by Abhi to read. Okay. Then next question. There are two thousand four hundred eighty-four children in a school. Then one thousand five hundred ninety-five children went on a tour. How many children did not go for the tour? So first step, we have to write the total number of children. This total number. Of children equal to two thousand four hundred eighty four. The number of and we have to write the number of children went for two. This number of children who went for two. How much is it? One thousand five hundred ninety-five. Then we have to find how many children did not go for the tour. That is number of children did not go for tour. So what we have to do is yes, we have to subtract these two numbers. Then we will get the number of children. Who did not went for the tour? That means two hundred. Sorry, two thousand four hundred eighty-four minus one thousand five hundred ninety-five. So, so, so first we have to subtract the ones. That is four minus five. It is not possible since four is less than five. So we have to borrow one ten from the tens column and we have to redo this. One column as fourteen. Then fourteen minus five, we have nine. Then we have to subtract the tens since one tens was borrowed by this one column. So here we have only seven. And also we know that seven is less than nine. So we have to borrow one hundred from the hundreds column, and we have to redo this tens column as seventeen. Then Seventy minus nine, we have eight. Then subtract this hundred column. Since one hundred was borrowed by this tens column, here we have only three. And three is less than five, so we have to borrow one thousand from this thousands column, and we have to redo this hundred column as thirty. Then thirty minus five, eight. Then subtract this thousands column. 
here 1000 was borrowed by this 100 scholar so here we have only 1 then 1 minus 1 we have 0 therefore the number of children who reading when for the tour is 889 clear then children moving to next topic mixed problems on addition and subtraction first question Raj has to travel distance of 732 km if he has covered 423 km by train and 132 km by bus how much more distance is yet to be covered by him so we have to find the answer for this in this problem we can see both addition and subtraction let's see then our first step is uh, distance covered by train how much is 423 kilometer then distance covered by bus equal to 132 kilometer then we have to find the distance covered by train and bus together so what we have to do we have to find the distance covered by bus and train together so we have to add these two numbers that is 423 plus 132 then add the ones 3 plus 2 5 then add the tens 2 plus 3 again 5 then add the hundreds 4 plus 1 5 distance covered by train and bus together that is 555 then we have to find next uh, step is uh, total distance uh, Raj has to travel how much is 732 kilometer then we have to find how much, how much more distance is yet to be covered that means distance to be covered equal to we have to write 732 minus this total distance that means 555 then subtract the ones since 2 is less than 5 we have to borrow 1 10 from the tens column and we have to regroup this ones column as 12 then 12 minus 5 we have 7 then here since we have borrowed 1 10 to this ones column here we have only 2 then 2 is less than 5 so we have to borrow 100 from the 100 column and we have to redo this 10 column as 12 again 12 minus 5 we have 7 then here we have to subtract the 100 space here 100 was borrowed by this 10 column so here we have only 6 then 6 minus 5 we have 1 Therefore, the distance to be covered by branch is 177 kilometer. Clear? The next question. In a housing society, there are 296 men, 244 women and the rest are children. If the number of people residing in the society is 797, find the number of children in the society so first number of men number of men equal to 296 then number of women equal to 244 
Then you have to find the total number of men and women that is number of men and women together. So what you have to do is we have to add these two numbers. This 296 plus 244. Then first add the ones 6 plus 4, 10. 0 here, adding 1 here. Then 9 plus 4, 13. 13 plus 1, 14. Then carrying over 1 here. Then 2 plus 2, 4. 4 plus 1, 5. So we got the total number of men and women is 540. Then next step, we have to write the number of people in this society. That is total number of people in the society equal to 797. Then what we have to find? Yes, we have to find the number of children in the society. That means number of children. What we have to do? Yes, we have to subtract. That is 797 minus this number. That is 540. 797 minus 540. Then subtract the ones 7 minus 0, 7, then 9 minus 4, 5, then 7 minus 5, 2. Therefore, the number of children in this society is 257. Clear? So children, by this topic, we conclude today's class. Thank you.